Hello, I'm Tina. Welcome to my channel. Um, this video I will talk about see if, which is another tag for inside the core tag library. And based on them, you already know what's doing, right? For condition check. Okay, now let's head to the IDE. And uh, if you follow my playlist, you will see some changes I made for this project. Okay, previously this file is called GSTL demo something. A uh, GSTL call. I feel it's uh, not uh, good because after I uh, explain the C set out, I feel this file is enough. It's very long, so I changed the file name to set out, and I changed the link here and I changed the title here. Okay, that's all. So now let's create another. GSP for C if okay. I should call C set out C out okay. Just call C if here, C if demo okay. And uh, in order to using uh, the tags, uh, in order to use the tags inside a call library, we have to add what tag lib right? Tag lib. I just uh, copy paste okay from here. And the prefix is whatever you want, okay? But by, by convention, what you see, and the URI must be this value. I probably not uh, introduced it before. I forgot, okay? The URI um, later on, if I have time, I will introduce how to create your own tag library. At that time, you will know why. And here, I want to show you a little bit. Because for every tag, okay, for every tag, it will have a TLD file. And that TLD file is a tag uh, descriptor, which tells what kind of tag name, what's the URI, and what's the attributes, uh, attribute, what are the attributes uh, we can use in the tag. And uh, see here, this is our GSTL implementation. And here we have a TLD. Okay, describe the core tag library. And this is the UI being used inside the TLD. That's why here we have to use this URI. Okay. Um, that's it for this uh, add on. And now let's give a demo called uh, C. Oh, sorry, sorry. The first one. Uh, we will use a C set, a uh, given uh, variable, okay? Var is equals uh, H, okay? Value will give value is uh, 70. How about? <laughs> you can give a scope or anything you want, okay? Um, like this. I think it is fine. Here we have use C if. And a test is required, and in a test, we will grab the value from the age. And here, you have to give a condition if age is greater than 65, okay. And we will do something here, we will display retired, Re retired, okay. Uh, a like have a uh, have something called the age greater than 65 okay uh, unfortunately there's no C else okay if you want to achieve C uh, if else if else if and uh, otherwise we, we will show you another text called the C choose C when and C otherwise okay will show you in another one but suppose you want to do something which is uh, uh, age is uh, not greater than uh, 65 you can do is uh, uh, do like this way. First, not okay. Still, you have to because uh, the uh, greater sign uh, sixty-five. Okay, so this one means age is less or equal than sixty-five, right? And you add a 
not okay uh you cannot uh, you, if you remove the parentheses it doesn't work because this uh, operator has the higher the not operator has a higher priority compared with this one so it will do not edge first so it doesn't work you have exception being through we have to give this one okay if you want to do else you can have a not here it's kind of like else okay so now let's uh, run it Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot to do something, which is here we add another link, okay. Uh, see if, see uh, if, okay, demo, good, and let's deploy. No, we can just update. Uh, when using exploded version, you will see updated resource, updated class resource. Uh, you don't need to actually redeploy, redeploy everything, okay. Now we go refresh, see if demo click, you will see both of them uh, shows here, okay? And uh, see if also has uh, another attributes, two other attributes. Uh, like I see, see uh, if uh, test, our, you're still using this edge, edge greater than uh, 30, okay? And here you can give a var which is a var here is a any variable and this variable will hold the result which it's gonna hold the result the this expression okay yeah hold the result result uh, just give and a scope scope which means where this result is gonna be uh, in a uh, put in which scope and in this case the result is put in the request scope so now test see if result okay and here we can do is add uh, you can use the C out to prevent what to prevent the cross site scripting okay so now here you have two ways one way yes request scope dot result you know okay this one is just to grab the values from uh, the request scope, but uh, you, you can also do like this one. Mm, how, what should I do? I'll, I'll put in another one, okay. Uh, result, see if result. Uh, here is uh, just using dollar sign and uh, result, okay. And uh, you can also use in C out. And if we do like this way, it will search from the page scope and the request scope, uh, or session and application. The first one find the first one gonna be used. Okay. Normally, uh, I normally you probably don't use these two. It directly after condition between them you have something right. But uh, you can still hold the result and put it in the application or session or other scope as you want okay mm, deploy successfully now we can just refresh you can see the true okay both works okay and it's in the request scope okay uh, that's it for see if I think it's not difficult right and uh, we will continue learn other tags in core library so uh, see you next time thank you and uh, bye bye